Oh, for you guys, how many special teams are too many special teams to be on? What's the max level you'd like to? If you well, it all, if I'm a starter on offense or defense at a skill spot, you'll start on one, and you'll be a backup on another. Um, if I'm not a starter, then and you're good enough, you, you should be on all four. That's your role. Yeah, uh, you know, kind of as far as the uh, pump return game goes, you know, are you guys, you know, I guess kind of where in the process are you guys, in, you know, in terms of, uh, we do, uh, in terms of kind of keying it on maybe one or two guys? We, we catch punts before practice for 20 minutes every day, and then we catch punts during practice every day. So it's been a point of emphasis, and obviously we've had a, a, a huge problem in that in that role and we're, we're working really hard and diligent and trying to identify two to three guys that can do it. You're, you're going to need more than one. And uh, we think we got a beat on a couple kids that, you know, uh, confidence wise can do it. It's just the most, you have to have no fear in order to play that position. There's a knack for it. You look across the country, the guys that are good at it, they're fearless. They'll sit in there and they'll take the hit and they'll, they'll know guys are barreling down on them. And, you have to have the ability to catch it, which is one of the hardest things to do in football. And then two, you have to have something inside that you know gives you the ability to be fearless. What a, you know? What kind of more than uh, more than anything else? What kind of series of factors more than anything else really contributed to those as far as last season? The problems last year? Yeah. We couldn't feel the punt. We couldn't hold anybody up. And that that doesn't come. With, you look. You look what we did last year uh, on punt return. As far as scheme goes. It's no different than anywhere in the country. Our guys didn't strain as hard as the other guys did. And we have to instill that in them that you got to strain at the line of scrimmage in order to give that punt returner a chance to field the ball. You know, So it's not just a returner. Obviously, he's got to catch it. But it's the other 10 guys holding people up. It's not. It's, it's, it's a unit thing. It's not one kid. It's not. And it's, I know it was embarrassing. I'm embarrassed about it. The kids are embarrassed about it. Um, but you know, we, we've worked hard, harder than I ever worked in 26 years of coaching, and, you know, in, in trying to get better at that phase. And, you know, I've, I've been at places where we led the country in punt return doing the exact same thing. So it's not, it's a group thing, it's a, it's a group effort. Joe, very novice opinion coming out here right here. Really? Joe, I watch Joe on, right? <laughs> and, and he can, he can run, right? Oh, yeah. Um, is, is a true freshman, even at a skill, I mean, at a skill position where there's a lot on his shoulders already, is it too much to throw him in no. at, at A1 no. if he's that good? No. Well, I've had true freshmen do it before. Right. And again, it goes back to does he have confidence to do it? Is he natural catching the ball? Mm -hmm. And he and he is. He, is he going to make mistakes? Sure, but everybody does. Mm -hmm. I mean, Lockett drop pumps before. I mean, I was in the Big 12 for now going on 15 years. I've seen him drop pumps. Mm -hmm. It's just, it, it compounded throughout the year where it became just like a, a joke. And that's something that we don't want to be a part of. Like everybody had the yips. Well, once you get it, you, it's hard to get rid of it, you know, and that's in anything. It's in golf, you know, you talk, they always talk about golfers got the yips or, you know, I mean, it strictly boils down to confidence and catching the football. Is it the same for punter? Could a freshman come in and catch a punt right away too? Because that seems like a much harder discipline. That is the hardest discipline. Right. And that, it's the same thing. It's a, it's a lot easier to catch a kick, a kickoff, and return a kickoff than catching a punt. Two reasons. One, it's an easier, easier ball to handle. It's end over end. It's not spinning backwards. It's not falling forward. It's not shanked. And two, you don't have anybody in your face for another 25 yards. Whereas punt, you got someone in your face within five yards and because the kids up front didn't do the right thing. You know, they didn't do their job. So, to answer your question, it's a lot harder to be a punt returner than a kick returner. You'd rather have an older guy back, right? <coughs> unless the guy's really good. I'd rather have a confident guy. That Is he do doing it. punts? I know I haven't seen him yes. do punts, but he's doing both. Yeah, We're, we've got just a slew of kids we're working with. We're trying to narrow it down to three. You want to talk about safeties? Sure. Uh, if you can go back a couple years when you had a freshman back there. Carl work, Joseph? Even KJ was back there too, right? But well, like, yeah. now they're seniors. Yeah. I've seen a lot. It seems like Draymond's caught on much quicker because of the guys that are around him. Just relative to your position, the day to day stuff, how much more beneficial is it? I think there's a lot of truth, but it's also the second, you know, four years ago when I first got here, <coughs> we had a bunch of freshmen playing back there. Mm -hmm. You know, KJ and Carl, obviously. Now they've. They understand the speed of the game, the Big 12, and we're in the same defense for two years in a row. Okay, so there's a there's a lot to build off of there for them. 
There's also uh, what you mentioned with Carl and KJ sort of being able to communicate to Drayvon if there is an issue, not that there is, but I'm saying that they can communicate because they understand the defense maybe a little bit better than he did last year. And uh, so I think the, all three of those guys work together really, really well. You'll see them do a lot of things together on the field that sort of marry each other. Um, but there, there's no question that Drayvon's become a more confident player because of Carl and KJ.